what Martin Sorrell has done is, is just fantastic. Now, right now he's got a fair whack of debt, but he'll, he'll get through all of that. We'll continue to be uh, the best of friends and the best of enemies, and uh, we'll still all enjoy cups of tea. What is your observations, Harold, on how businesses globally are run uh, and, and how compared to how you run sure. this business and what might you bring or what could be brought to the table that well, they might operate I, differently? Again, I won't be too presumptive about uh, how others run themselves and how I could impose too much on that, but uh, you can make the observation that, that they have been hierarchical in nature and in any growing market on in anything in life, uh, that will work okay. If everything's going up, it's all right. Hierarchical, I mean, there is a big boss. They write the memos from wherever it is in London or New York, and that goes out to the uh, outer regions, uh, and everything flows down the back. Pretty long uh, chain of command to mm. do that. How do I do it? Uh, whilst I'm seen as rather larger than life, a little bit less larger than I used to be, but, <laughs> but uh, um, I, I, I really push it out to the people. We've got, I think, some of the best executives in the country, and it's a bit tough for them because I get the publicity, but uh, they do the work. And so, uh, so is there a difference? Uh, it isn't as hierarchical as some of the great big world firms. But flatter and, structures? Oh uh, well, I'm not saying what what will happen. That's in what the future. you. That's what. But, but if, if you look at our place, yes. uh, people, from the, our competitors say, uh, "Well, what happens when he dies?" I.e., me. I mean, that's their great wish. Well, I've got to tell <laughs> you, uh, I, uh, people have suggested, "Will I retire or will I die?" And I've got news for them. I'm not going to do either and that makes a difference but our, our business uh, and good business is always simply push it out to people who have the responsibility that's what we've done what happens in the future we'll all see but what can those large what companies though so let's just i mean let's not impose your your view on what's going to happen but can large companies like even the wpps and omnicoms can they actually operate with flatter structures on a global basis or do they need those hierarchies They've, they've developed these hierarchies in the past. They've been enormously successful. What Martin Sorrell has done is, is just fantastic. Now, right now he's got a fair whack of debt, but he'll he'll get through all of that. Uh, he, he's brilliant. And what was his response when you told him that what you'd done? Well, well, it was at two levels. He uh, he. Um, naturally went to the press, uh, no, I'm, I'm assuming he naturally went to the press, it's been reported to me, and he said that uh, they paid too much. Right. But he would say that, uh, and, uh, and I was quite flattered. And, uh, and more privately to me, because uh, we've always been good friends, and yes. uh, we, j we joust well. Uh, and you like the cricket uh, in the summer, We don't like you? the cricket, and we like a whole lot of things. Uh, I would think he's, he probably thinks this is okay, and, 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 and it's all right. So uh, we'll continue to be uh, the best of friends and the best of enemies, and. Uh, We'll still all enjoy cups of tea, I'm sure. Yes. Next week on Ad News Influences. So what's your expectations of how the Australian structure will be, Harold, with the, with the different brands? Do you mm. see uh, them operating autonomously and independently uh, sure. in this market, or do you think there will be a f more convergence between well, the Paul, two? Well, Paul, it's early stages. This, this is an offer that's been made for a company which is here who've uh, have got a, a very good group of people and companies.